Hello and welcome to the Academy of Online Mastery. My name is Steve Woody. To ensure you're watching this video in the best quality, please click the resolution button and select HD. For more videos, please check our website www.onlinemastery.co.uk. In this video, we're going to load Twitter Bootstrap from within WordPress. So at the moment, our pages within WordPress are stored on a database whereas our Twitter bootstrap page is hard-coded into the index.php. So what we need to do is access the index.php and copy out all the information between the header and the footer. We'll come across to our pages and in our sample page, we'll rename this as home. On the visual tab, we'll come across to HTML and we'll paste and update all of our HTML for our website. Now for this to work, we need to be able to call this from the index PHP. We do this using the following features. If I now save my index.php and view our site, we can see it looks very similar, although now we have home at the top. This shows us that it's calling the title the h1 tag, and then pulling the content from PHP. So if there's posts, and while there's posts, the post will display the title and the content. Else, if there are no posts, it will show, sorry, no post match your criteria. What we're going to do here now is we're going to save this and duplicate the page. So from index.php, we'll duplicate this page and we'll call this page front-page.php. WordPress recognizes this as a home page. We can now come back into this page, remove our h1 tag, save this page, and when we refresh, we see that nothing's happened. The reason for this is because we need to do one more thing. In our settings, in our dashboard, we have a reading option. Here you'll see that the front page will display your latest posts or a static page. When WordPress displays a static page, the front page is what we have called front-page.php and the post page is what we will call home.php. We now need to save these changes and when we view our site we can see that the home has now disappeared because we're using the front page and we've removed the header tag. The index still has the header tag but we're now calling this through WordPress. The final thing to do here from your dashboard is to access your page and we'll edit some of the text To ensure that this works. We go back, we can view our page and we can see that this has now worked. 